Hey boys, welcome back. It's your boy, WorldLemur4, with a whole new video. Today we are on Elden Ring, and we are going to be farming an exploit. It's quite simple, and you could actually do it pretty early in the game, and you can get about 4 million runes per hour. Now this is with Golden Pickled Foulfoot, because it gives you that 30% increase in runes, but if you were to do it without it, you can get up to 3 million per hour, which all in all isn't that bad. If you are new around the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications. But with that said and done, let's hop into this farming exploit. So starting from the beginning, when you first First load into Elden Ring, your first grace will be at the first step. You're simply going to want to touch it and then go talk to the masked man. He's going to want you to progress through the game and then you're going to want to end up at Stormgate to get Torrent. Then simply you're going to have to progress through the first two bosses, those two bosses being Godric and Margaret. If there is a way to skip it, you should do that just to get to the farm faster. But I had to go through those two bosses, but I just did that simply because I wanted to. But after going past Stormville Castle, you're going to want to progress and head towards Rose Church. Now there's a grace next to Rose Church that I suggest you get to make travel easier for yourself and this grace is called temple quarter i highly suggest you grab it just to make life a little bit easier but from grace i'm gonna speed up the video so you guys don't get lost and keep you guys just in the loop just in case but once you reach the masked man you're gonna want to interact with him and when you interact with him he's gonna be talking about two fingers you're gonna want to make sure you say they didn't seem right he will then reward you with a festering bloody finger this will make you invade other people and in these fights you don't have to win them at all so if you think the other guy is just way too beefy for you just go take the down or just fall off a cliff or win it's all up to you however much time you want to put into this but after finishing up all that you are going to want to go back to the masked man and, in and interact with him again he will end up wanting to anoint you make sure you let him do that and accept his offer he will then also give you a lord of blood's favor and then he will proceed to roast you because you are maidenless but we are going to drench that cloth right now in maiden's blood and you're going to want to end up at the church of inhibition as you can see and follow my cursor from the left i just move all the way up to the right and here's the church and if i'm going too fast for you guys just make sure you simply slow down the the video to about 0.25 or half speed whatever fits your forte but as you can see right next to the church there's also grace called frenzied flame village outskirts i suggest going to it because you might die a couple of times simply for the fact to get to the church you're gonna have to fight an invader who's decently tough especially at early gameplay so make sure you're mentally prepared for this but as you can see from the sped up footage i'm making my way through the town make sure you follow my exact path go inside you'll find some loot a sacred tear and go up to this maiden, collect all her items, and then drench your cloth in her blood. After you've done that successfully, you're going to want to go back to the Rose Church and talk to the Masked Man. Just know he's going to sting your finger a little bit too hard, make sure you don't cry, and with that you'll receive a bloody finger, but then you're going to want to talk to him again, and he'll give you another thing, but what he gives you is a Pure Blood Knight's Metal. He's going to tell you not to use it just a second, but you're just going to ignore that and use it right in his face. When you load in, you're going to be at Mogon Palace. All you're gonna wanna do is go up these stairs and collect grace. Then you're gonna go back down the palace, call Torrent and follow my location exactly. In my best opinion, I say stick to the left. You'll avoid all the enemies. You might run into a dead end at one point. All you have to do is circle back out and keep to the left again. After avoiding countless enemies, you'll be blessed with grace. All you're gonna wanna do is touch it. And if they're following you, you can rest at it. But right over there, you just saw the bird that we're going to be farming. All you're gonna need for this is a long bow, arrows, and to boost your runes, gold pickle fouled foot, or the golden scarab for 20% increase in runes. I know this farm has been out there for a minute, but I just wanted to make something extremely fast for you guys and hopefully easy to comprehend. If there's anything I missed out, leave a comment, let me know. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for more future content. It's been a blast. It's your boy Whirling Before, and I'm out. Peace.